This is the roof area where the 4 kilowatt solar PV array will be mounted. Just securing the rail to the framework. Uh, these are the rails that the solar panels sit on top of and uh, form the structure of the whole system. If I'm connecting connectors onto the end of these DC cables which come from the inverter out onto the roof so that they can connect into the solar panels on the array. And the two panels just click together like so. And then we just cable tie that to the rail and then the same to the three end of the row. These are the two DC isolating switches which isolate the incoming power from the rooftop array. This is the inverter which transforms the DC electricity produced from the solar PV array into an AC electric supply which can be used throughout the property. And on the right is the RCE device which would isolate the electricity supply in the event of a fault, ensuring the overall safety of the system. Here you can see the generation meter, which displays a total generation reading against which the feed-in tariff payments are made. When the solar PV system is generating an excess of electricity, rather than export back to the grid, this Emerson device diverts electricity into the immersion heater and provides free hot water to the house. And this communication device allows the customer to monitor the free green electricity produced from the solar PV system and also the total electricity demanded in the property via the internet from anywhere in the world. And the devilishly handsome Atlantic Renewables installation team. Chris, Dean and Jonathan.